hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sheila in today's video we are going to be learning how to make this skirt i know most of you have seen it somewhere somehow maybe on pinterest and i received an order so i decided to work while recording this so let's get into the video so for this project you'll need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook a measuring tip a pair of scissors um, the other thing that you'll need will be a 5mm crochet hook because this is going to be working the main body of the skirt. The 3.75 is going to just be working the upper part. Then the 5mm is going to be working the lower part until the end of the skirt. And then you also need an elastic strand to put into our waistband to get uh, an elastic waistband so let's begin for the yarn that i'm going to be using for the waistband is called yarn art so let's begin i'm going to start off by showing you how to make the motif in the waistband and then how to join it and then later on we shall start the construction of the actual skirt so you're going to start off with our magic circle So this is my magic circle, this is the tail, and this is my working yarn. And you're going to chain up three, and this counts as your very first double crochet. And we want a total of 16 double crochets in this magic circle. So this is one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So I have my 16 double crochets ready, including the chain three that counted as a stitch. So after this, you're going to pull your tail and close up the magic circle like that. And then you go on top of the very first chain three that you made and you're going to make a slip stitch there. So round one is done. So we are going to round two and for round two you're going to chain up one and go into that very stitch where you placed your slip stitch and make a single crochet and then single crochet into the next double crochet so that will be two single crochets this one and this one and then you're going to chain up nine After your nine chains, you're going to skip two stitches. So one, two, and into the third, you're going to place your single crochet. And then single crochet into the next stitch. So those are two single crochets, and then chain up nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Skip two stitches, so skip this and this, and into the third. You're going to place your single crochet and then single crochet into the next stitch so we have two single crochets here chain nine skip the next two stitches one two and into the third you're going to place one single crochet and then one single crochet into the next so two single crochets here and then you're going to chain up nine so we have two stitches left one two and then you're going to skip over them and go into the very first single crochet that you made and you're going to place your slip stitch so that marks the end of round two 
you should be having four loops of nine chains and then uh, we are going on to our very final round for the motif so for the final round you're going to chain up one and single crochet into that very stitch that very first single crochet so one single crochet there and then you're going to chain up five this is a chain of five one two three four five and then single crochet into the next single crochet so that creates a small loop here and then you're going to go into this space that chain nine space and you're going to place a total of five half double crochets so one two three four five so you can see I'm just going around the string I'm not going into the stitches around this string so after your five half double crochets you're going to chain up three and then place five more half double crochets in that same space so one two three So Mayan was stuck. Four and five. So after your five half double crochets, you're going to go into the next single crochet, which is this one, and place a single crochet in there. Chain five, single crochet into the next single crochet. Like that and then go into the next space with five half double crochets two three four and five chain three place five more half double crochets in the same space one two three four and five and then go into the next single crochet and place a single crochet chain five single crochet into the next single crochet And then you're going to go into the next space with five half double crochets two three four and five and then you're going to chain three and place five more half double crochets here so after your five half double crochets here you're going to continue doing the same exact thing so single crochet into the next single crochet chain five single crochet into the next single crochet and then go into the next space with five half double crochets chain three and then five more half double crochets in that same exact loop so one two three four five and when we, when you're done with that you're going to go into the very first single crochet that you made for this row which is this one and you're going to place a slip stitch so this is how your motif will look like there are these loops these big loops there are corners at each loop and then there are these small loops in between the big loops those f uh, chain five loops so this is how your very first motif will look like and this is the construction for each and every motif basically but now um, we are going to be learning how to join these motifs 
so that we get the number, the desired number of uh, motifs for our measurement. So the next thing to do is to get your waist measurement. You're going to get your measuring tape and then you get your waist measurement. I'll be considering 26 inches as the waist measurement because it's not so small and it's not so big. So if you have anything uh, different from mine, then go ahead and consider that. I'm going to be showing you how to make the measurements. So I've told you I'll be considering 26 inches for my waist measurements. That is the upper waist where you want your skirt, where you want this band to sit. So uh, you're going to keep working these motifs and joining them like this. And I'm going to be showing you how. So this is one of the motifs, but it's joined to another. So imagine you had this one motif that you have done. You're going to go through the same process of uh, constructing the same exact motif. But when you come to the last row, I'm going to be showing you what to do from there. You do row, round one and round two. And then for, for the final round, I'm going to be showing you what to do. So I'm picturing that I've done round one and round two. Now I'm on the final round of my motif. So I'll chain up one, which I've already done. This is uh, round three of this motif that I want to join to this. So I'll go into the same exact single crochet with a single crochet. And then I'll chain up five. Single crochet into the next single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next space with five half double crochets, just like we did for the first motif. So when you have your five half double crochets, you're going to chain two instead of three because this is supposed to be a chain of three in the corner. So you chain two, remove your hook, go into this corner here, and then pull through this loop and chain your third. So that means we've chained our three at this point. And then uh, since this is a joining uh, chain, you can see it's very short. I just added one more to make it like fair enough. So after your uh, two more chains, because we did two here and then we've done two on this side, you're going to go into the same exact space and place your five half double crochets. So I'm done with my five half double crochets and this is what I created. And then you're going to go into the next single crochet and place a single crochet. And then now we are going to make a chain of five. But remember, we have to attach that point here. So you will make a chain of three instead of five. And then put your hook through this loop and pull through that loop on the opposite side. And then chain two more. This time not three, two. And then you're going to go into the next single crochet and make a single crochet. So this is what we've come up with. And then you're going to go into the next space and place a total of three half, or five half double crochets, sorry. Five half double crochets. This is three, four, and five. And after your five half double crochets, you're going to do the same exact thing that we did at this point. You're going to chain up two, remove your hook, go into this corner that you want to attach, pull through this loop, chain two more. And then you're going to go into this next space, the same exact space with five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, 
and 5. And since we've joined these two points, these three points actually, we've joined the two motifs and this side we are not going to join anything. So we are going to continue as usual to just complete our motif. So um, after this, you're going to go into the next space the next single crochet with a single crochet, chain five, single crochet into the next single crochet, and then go into the next space with five double, five half double crochets, chain three, five more half double crochets. So this is what we have and then single crochet into the next single crochet chain five single crochet into the next single crochet so this is what we have go ahead and finish um, this is the last loop left so five half double crochets chain three and five more half double crochets one two three four and five so after this i'll go into the very first single crochet that i made with a slip stitch and that marks the end of this round on this motif so you're going to go ahead attaching your motifs the same exact way that I have done for this motif and at the end you're going to keep joining until you have the measurement of your upper waist. So since this is folded over I want you to just have the full coverage on camera so I should be having half of my hip measurement of my waist measurement so you can see i'm at zero here and i'm at 13 here that means this is just enough to go around my waist because i'm considering a waist measurement of 26 and half of 26 is 13 since this is two-sided so um the other thing that i forgot to tell you is how to join this You'll join it the same exact way. Once you get to the last motif, you should consider joining this. Or if the, if that's going to give you a hard time, then I'm going to just have some strings to just join the two motifs together. So I'm going to just get three and then put my work on the wrong side because I forgot to join when I was working so that's perfectly okay I'm going to just make a knot in this corner okay like that and then grab my next string and then join these middle loops I'm just doing a double knot or a triple knot okay that's it and you can cut these You're going to have so many loose ends at this point in the waistband, but you'll weave them in later. I'm just cutting the ones that I've just tied. So turn your work to the right side. This is how your work should look like. Ignore all these strings laying around. We shall deal with them later. So this is how my waistband is. And now the next part that we are going to do is to do the actual skirt. 
All right, so we are going to switch our hook to a five millimeter crochet hook at this point. We are done with the waistband and it's the only one that needed the um, 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. At this point, we are introducing the five millimeter crochet hook to work on the body of the skirt. So grab the same exact color And then you're going to attach your yarn. I'm going to be attaching my yarn at this point. And that will be the exact middle, the back side of my work. Or, yeah, actually, this is fine because that's the line where I attached my work like this. So I'm going onto this side and I attach my yarn, same exact color. And then I'm going to chain up one and I place one half double crochet in this space, one half double crochet in the next space, which is the next corner of this motif. And then I'm going to place one half double crochet in each of the five, in each of the five half double crochets. This is four. So um, you'll see something going on here. This will be one of the half double crochets, but since it doesn't create a visible stitch, then we shall count five, including the single crochet on this side. So you should be having one here, one here, and then five in the middle before you get to this space. So when you get to this loop, you're going to place one half double crochet and then jump into the next space, the next single crochet. So this is the single crochet, one half double crochet there, then two, three, four, and five. So here the, the, the half double crochet is more visible. So let's do this. I think this is going to be a bit confusing. Whenever you place your one half double crochet in the loop, just skip the very first stitch and go into the second with one half double crochet. Three, four, and five. Because we want five stitches before we get to the next spaces. So once you have your five half double crochets, go into the next space with one half double crochet, one half double crochet on the other side. And then we are back to the same exact scenario. So go into the first stitch is this one, but I'll skip it and go into the second with one half double crochet. That's the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Just keep that in mind. Five stitches before you go into the, either the loops or these spaces on the corners of the motifs. So I have my five stitches, then I'll go into that chain five loop with one half double crochet and then one two three four five skip this and then go into the second one one two three four and five the moment you get five stitches you go into the spaces so one here one on the other side and continue to do this all the way around, around your work. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go all the way around until I get to the end, the end of my row, and then I'll show you what to do for row two this is row one of the body of the skirt 
so at this point i've gone all the way around my work uh, doing the half double crochet row and after my five half double crochets here I'll just go into the very first half double crochet that I made and I'm going to make a slip stitch so I chained one and cut my yarn at this point and now I'm going to introduce my next color and it's going to be hot pink so for the hot pink I'm going to be using grobin yarn and I'm going to be using a double strand from now on I'll be using a double strand so that the thickness of my skirt is a bit um, so the skirt is a bit thicker than the uh, waistband so if you have any medium weight yarn that you want to play around with color mixture then uh, I advise this is the point you have to introduce it so I'm going to turn my work and go into the very first stitch attach my hot pink color that and then I'm going to chain up one and go into each and every half double crochet with one half double crochet so just go all the way around with one half double crochet in each and every half double crochet below and this is row two of the body of the skirt round two and you'll have the same number of stitches as uh, round one so go all the way around and then I'll meet you guys back when I have this finished and I'll show you what to do for round three okay so I've gone all the way around placing one half double crochet in each half double crochet below and I'm going to go into the very first half double crochet that I made and make a slip stitch so from this point onwards I'm going to be doing two two rows of each color while I switch to another color but then um, a few things I need to point out round three is going to be a bit different it's going to be the increase row so I'll chain up one because now I have one row of hot pink and I need another row then I'll swap to another color so chain one turn your work don't forget to always do this for each and every row so turn your work and this is going to be the increase row so place two half double crochets in the very first half double crochet and then one half double crochet in all the rest until you get to the very last one where you also place two half double crochets so that's how we work the increase row and it will always be after two rows so this is round three round six will also be an increase row round um, nine will also be an increase row and you'll continue to do that until you have um, your hip measurement because we're increasing from the upper waist down to the hip measurement so for me uh, I think I'm going to do one round of increase because my clients uh, hip measurement is not that big let me continue to do this and then I'll show you what I mean by that you want your skirt to start growing towards the side not to be so flat especially for the curvy people so continue working until this can stretch to half your hip measurement because we are considering the upper part and the lower part so if my client's hip measurement is 40 inches then um, I need to stretch this to 20 to make sure it can fit her well and you can see it's struggling to get to 20 so I'm going to increase here and then I do two plain rows of another color and then the third row will be an increase row and I think that will be enough for me but apply the same exact knowledge for whatever size that you're making for So for the increase row, make sure you place two half double crochets in the beginning stitch 
and two half double crochets in the last stitch that's how we increase but only on the third round so round three round six round nine round 12 if you're going to get there round 15 those are the only rounds that can have increases the rest are just plain rounds of half double crochets so let me go ahead and work my uh, skirt and then I'll be back when I'm done with my rounds of increases so I'm done with my two rows of uh, sky blue and uh, if you haven't gotten your hip measurement still the next row is the row where you have to increase in the first and the last stitch so I'm going to do that let me get my next color so what I'm going to do is to go into the very first half double crochet that I made and I'm going to slip stitch and then I'm going to chain up one cut my yarn and then introduce my next color which is going to be yellow so I told you uh, we turn every after each row <coughs> so we are going to attach our yarn on the opposite side of the previous row so attach your yarn into the very first stitch chain one place because this is round six and this is an increase round so if you haven't yet achieved your hip measurement it's time to increase again so two half double crochets in the very first stitch then one in each of the remaining until you get to the last one which will also get two half double crochets and then the next two rows will be plain rows of um, half double crochets without increases so this is going to be my very last round of increasing and then I'll just do plain rows of half double crochets until I get the length that I want so I played around with different colors to achieve this look I did a total of 33 rows because I have two two rows of each color and then there's this one row of uh, this color of the waistband so uh, right now we're going to be turning our work upside down to start working on the edging of the work and for the edging I'm going to be using the same exact color that I used for the waistband but this time it's going to be doubled uh, the waistband was a single thread so that it's a bit light so that it's it wasn't so thick but for the uh, for the edging I'm going to be doing uh, double strand but the same exact color as the uh, waistband so this is yarn art After getting the length that you want for your skirt, it's time to do the edging. So, I'm going to attach my yarn normally like how I would have done for the previous rows. And then I'm going to chain up four. And I'm going to skip one stitch and go into the next with one double crochet chain one the chain four counts as a double crochet chain one so after a chain of one here skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the next double crochet into the next and continue to do that all the way around your uh your row so let me go ahead and do this and then i'll meet you back when when I'm on my very final round of the scallops so we're just creating a mesh look of our skirt and then we shall do the scallop pro so I finished going all the way around with my mesh row and I've chained one I'm going to count to the third chain of my very first chain four 
and I'll go into the third chain with a slip stitch. So this is how the base looks like right now. And now we're going to do our very final round. So uh, you're going to make sure that your work is facing the right side for this very final round. So whichever side you're on, make sure you're working your very final round on the right side of your work. And you can tell that uh, from where the, the motifs are facing, this is the right side of my work. I'm going to deal with this later. So make sure you're on the right side of your work. You're going to chain up one and go into the very first chain one space. Make a single crochet. Chain three. Place three more double crochets in the same exact chain one space. So this is what we have. Skip this uh, next chain one space go into the next with a single crochet so we are creating scallops and then chain three place three more double crochets in the same exact space skip this next space and jump into the next chain one space with a single crochet so we're going to repeat this all the way around Continue doing this all the way around and then I'll meet you back at this point. Alright, so I've come to the end of my round and then I'm placing my very last scallop just like I've been doing for the rest. One, two and three double crochets and then I'm going to skip this and jump into the next chain one space and then I'll just go into the very first single crochet that I made and I make a slip stitch then I'm going to chain up one and cut my yarn So that marks the end of the scallops at the base. This is how they look like. So we are going to go back up, still on the right side of your work. Don't turn it to the wrong side. Still on the right side. And we are going to introduce our elastic strand. And we are going to place it at the top of our um, skirt. On top of the motifs so that uh, the skirt can be stretchy and then when it reaches the waist it holds a bit to get a better fitting for our skirt so let me go ahead and get that and then get back to show you how to attach that so I had told you earlier that my waist measurement was 26 inches that's what I considered for this skirt so this is my elastic strand and the measurement that I considered was 26 but then since we wanted to stretch to exactly 26 um, inches I subtracted uh, 5 inches from 26 and got 21 and that's what I considered and then this extra measurement is just for the knot because I'm going to tie a knot to make it uh, form a ring. So whatever measurement you had for your waist measurement, whatever you considered, take off five inches and cut your elastic strand to that measurement. And then you leave room for about an inch or two for the knot that turns it into a ring. So this is what I mean. I have 20, 21 inches here without being stretched and then I have this extra about two inches that I'm going to be using to tie the knot so I'm going to just bring this to this side and then 
I make a very firm knot make sure it's tight enough so this is what I have and when you try to stretch this it should stretch to 13 inches which is 26 inches times 2 so 13 inches is here it can even stretch further than that which is good so we are going to be attaching this elastic strand into our waistband but this time i'm not going to be using a double strand i'm going to go back to my single strand because this part was made with a single strand and then i'll go back to my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook So I have my 3.75 and then I'm introducing the same exact yarn that I used for this and I'm going to make the final round at the top of the motifs. So make a slip knot. I'm going to be working from the back side of my work towards the front. So this is the back side, that line there. And I'm going to get my elax elastic strand, sorry, and I join it here. So I've put it on top of the hook and I'm grabbing my yarn and attaching it. So remember the row that we did here before we started working the different rounds? There's that round that we did. We did five stitches in between, then one here one here one here that's the same exact show that we are going to be doing but this time putting the elastic strand inside so we're going to be chaining one half double crochet you make sure you hold the elastic strand behind the stitches half double crochet in that same exact space then half double crochet five times in the next stitches one two three four and five so once you get five stitches as i had told you for this round you go into the next space and place one half double crochet so you can see that we are weaving in the elastic strand inside our stitches so we are going to go all the way around, repeating round one of the uh, skirt part. But this time we are putting the elastic strand into play. So let me continue to do that. So if you can get uh, an elastic strand that's the same color as your yarn that would be perfect you can see uh, sometimes we are seeing this uh, the white passing through our stitches but it's okay it makes no big difference so I'm going to go all the way around So when you see you're running out of the elastic strand, you're going to have to pull it from this side. Make sure it can go all the way around your skirt. So this is what I was talking about. If you see that you have very little of the um, elastic strand left, you're going to have to pull it from the side where you have worked. So you pull it from this side. And that will create folds on this side but it's okay that's what we want that part to cinch in around our waist area so yeah let me continue to work 
and of course when uh, we get those gathers then the white color of the elastic strand is going to cease to appear through our stitches it will keep disappearing So keep pulling it until you're done, then you can evenly distribute it around the skirt. So I'm placing my very last stitch of my uh, top round into this space and since I had made a double knot here I'm going to make one more knot to make it a triple knot just to make sure it's secure enough and then after that I'll grab a pair of scissors Let me use a cutter. So I'm going to chop off these ends after making sure the knot is secure enough. I'll cut off those. And then the next thing that I'll do is to go into the very first half double crochet that I made with a slip stitch to finish up that round. Chain one and cut your yarn so that's done and let me show you how the work looks like right now so you can see the waist part has pulled in the next thing that I'm going to do is to evenly distribute this elastic strand just keep pulling it until it looks evenly distributed if you wish, if this is unsightly to you, then you can go ahead and make another row of half double crochets. But this time going down into these stitches that you went into so that you cover up this area where the white is passing through. But I don't think I need to do that. I think this is perfectly fine. I don't think it's a major issue to deal with. So um, that marks the end of our skirt. I hope you had fun making this one and I'll see you when we are making our top design to match this skirt. Thanks for watching. Bye.